Yo, yo, yo. It's James Mac 3, James Mac 3 TV. Welcome to the smoking session. Um, I got, got my first guest over here, CC, Phil B slash business partner. You know what I mean? We're going to get into some. Say what's up, CC. Hi. She actually said that. Hi. Okay. Yeah. She's, she's the uh, silent business partner. Leave all the talking to me. All right, here we go. So, I was thinking, you know what I mean, for the topic for us to, you know, talk about and elaborate on is, this is the question. How important is it for you and your business partner to have the same drive and be on the, you know, and you link yourself with somebody and you have told two totally different ways of going about things and, you know, can that be successful or do you think you have to have somebody that's, you know, more like an A-like or somebody that thinks more on the lines of how you do things or your thought process? Um, I don't think how they think has to match up. I think that the drive is separate from the way you think about stuff. Like you got to have the same energy. You got to, if you high energy, you're going to need a high energy business partner. Otherwise it's going to be somebody that's always doing more and somebody that's always doing less. You aiming for lower. And somebody's going to be aiming higher because they're going to have more drive, but it's not really about how you think it's about, you know, what you're, what you're thinking, you know, are we going for millions or are we going for pennies, you know? Mm, okay. So you think that your energy, you think your energy just got to match. I mean, like, like, I guess I'm that's the same asking, as what you think. I, you think, is that the same as like, thinking the same and way yeah, like, you you definitely well no you don't have i don't think you have to uh, maybe i said that wrong but um well uh, you don't have to think again? the same way i was um i was trying like i'm gonna elaborate on what i mean by like you know thinking the same way just like um when i say think i, I guess i do mean like kind of like the energy but i mean the, the thought pad the thought process like um a lot of people have a a worker's type of thought process, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you got like a business partner or somebody, um, you know, it's y'all shit. So you got to care about it first and foremost. You know, I'm just talking about like the thinking of yeah, how to go about that. business, thinking of how to go about business like me. I'm like, <coughs> I'm very, like, I'm very sporadic, you know what I'm saying? And I'm very pushy about certain things I want to get done, but the fucking workload may change from week to week because it's not, I, I'm not stable in that type of way. So somebody will say, look, we need to stick with one thing and keep it going and just stick with that one thing. And I can't operate like that. So somebody who thinks like that probably wouldn't be a good fit with me. I do believe everybody needs a partner or a team. You know what I'm saying? It's, I just think that, um, if you in layman terms, if you lazy, you should have a partner <laughs> that matches your laziness. Because oh, man. what kind of partner matches lazy? Somebody that's also whole, lazy. Yeah, they can be. You know, it's so that can work. Done. They can get it done. They might. What me and you might get done in two days, they might get done in a week or two weeks. It still can be done. You know, I just don't think that like somebody like me that's a workhorse should get with somebody that don't had necessarily care about working that 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 much or that quick or you know that hard at sometimes. So um, but if somebody that's like more thinking like me, like man, I'm out, I'm, I'm I gotta get this bread right now, or I'm a little older, so I gotta make up for you know lost time. Um, we're getting more money faster, you know, 
that's somebody that I probably can link with because they understand me. They understand where I'm coming from. The other person that's more on a, you know, slower pace or want to do, you know, things a little bit more easier. They're not going to understand. They're going to think I'm being pushy or bossy or some shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that's just how I see it, though. Um, well, it makes sense. It's, it's like the work ethic. That's what it is because, you know, people yeah. can be lazy about things. They can think a certain way. But really, when it comes down to work, people have a certain work ethic, you know. Yeah. The way you get things done, your productivity, you know, the process you you do. Some people like to cut corners, some people don't. Some people like to be perfectionist, all types of stuff. I guess yeah. it has to match like that. Oh yeah, I, I I'm a I'm a Huh. Oh, you chime in real thing. So I'm just gonna keep everything mad. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that. And I'm on my working man shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my hustle man shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my picture man shit. Yeah, that's me. I'm I'm everything. I'm just gonna load everything up like that. I'm the car wash man too, just to let y'all know. I got I'm about to, yeah, me and my people is about to start a little car wash. Yeah, with I shine your shit up for you. you know? mm -hmm. I got you. You want your shit shined up, CC? I do it on the house. You know what I mean? You got anything for sale? You know, I like to spend money. Yeah, we the we the uh we anything the eyeliner and the makeup man. I'm the eyeliner, lip lip liner, makeup <coughs> man. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know I'm saying, if you need some trees trimmed, I'm rolling with the tree trimming crew, the tree cutting crew. So I'm the tree man too. You know what I mean? I I I, I asked that question because. Me and you, you know what I'm saying, we always had our ups and downs of how we see things, but we both, like, when we get into our mode, we workaholics. Like, we are overdosed on what we're doing at that time. And I don't think that we would have clicked as much as we did if we both didn't have that attribute. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but what damn, is that? Is it really a workaholic? I, I think about that sometimes. Is that what it's it a, is? I think, I think we crazy. That's why yes. I'm gonna start calling out. I'm gonna start calling out episodes. I'm gonna start calling out episodes. The crazies. I think I'm gonna do this one as the crazies because we just got a crazy way of going about <laughs> shit. shit but, we, but we get shit done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know, you know what? It's, it's never. It's never. Cause you're right. It is. Um. It 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 is. You gotta think the same because. The, the crazy way I think about work and stuff is the same crazy way you think about work. I love it. I love it to death. It gets, it's what I, I live for almost, you know, like what else I'm going to deal with? I'm not doing something all day long and then not trying to yeah, make some we, money, you know? Yeah, we not Roberts, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, for the people that don't know our lingo and know. need to how we do things, you know what I'm saying? Roberts. It's your everyday working motherfucker, work hard as shit, and don't think outside the box. And you know what I mean? We shine just as good as them or even better without even doing all that shit. So, you know, y'all catch on though, but yeah, you know what I mean? These Roberts of the world. To work. You know? Yeah, yeah, these Roberts of the world. Like, if I would have, you know, paired up with a Robert, you feel know I me? Mean? And then be yeah. chaos because. This motherfucker, he don't know what I'm talking about. He can't feel me. You know what I'm saying? He get up and he go work, bust his ass every day hard, hard, hard. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't work hard, but you should work smart. And, and and you know, if I'm getting to the bag the same way you get into the bag, but you doing way more than me, something wrong with that, that type, you know, that dynamic. Uh, I don't know, Robert. <laughs> keep working, buddy. I'll keep saying hello in the morning, smoking this blunt. Hey, right right. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. And you also got what's the other one, CC? What's that? Uh, yo, we we gave him the name and shit. What's that guy name, yo? From my from the comic book, yo. Remember me? I, oh, yeah, what's that? Mr. Shade. Yeah, yo, man, Shade, Shade, Mr. Shade. We got robbers out here. We they got remember Mr. me. Got yeah, or is, yeah, or is Mr. Shade remember me? No, those are two different people. Just remember no, me. No, I'm just saying. 
No, I'm just giving yeah. them a run down. Yeah. I'm just giving the people a rundown of some names they might hear and they might lose them. That's just our lingo, you know what I'm saying? We got Mr. Shea, we got Roberts, you know what I'm saying? And you know who we are. We the crazy. So, you know, when you hear those type of terms, we just talking shit and, you know, talking out cold. That's all. Catch up. Catch up with, you know what I mean? You see the motherfucking logo, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. I know you see the logo. We done upgraded. But, uh, CC, tell the people a little bit about what you you know what I'm saying, and, and and your expertise on certain things. Let let the what uh functions you are in the JM3 organization. You know what I'm saying, because I can't do it. So everything I'm not doing, she doing. You know what I'm saying. We we, 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 we like that. So just let them know. Let let them know. I'm giving you your, I'm giving you your time to shine because you know, motherfuckers be thinking it's just me. And now I got I got I got the person behind the scenes that work hard with me. So let them know how you run it. Give them the rundown. Um, I'd rather like to think of myself as the artist, but I'm I'm not really that. I do more like business administration stuff. You know, pretty much secretarial work, manager work, things like that. Keeping everything flowing the right way, making sure everything is always in the right alignment. I don't know. I don't really know what I do. Yeah, yeah I'm the I'm I'm the motherfucker that's always barking I'm not the brains. I don't think I'm the brains of the operation, but I, I definitely as as like you, the oil that makes sure the the machine runs right. I do a lot of you, stuff. You, but you pinky or the brain? Which one? I'd like to be uh, pinky. I feel more like pinky. Yeah. I feel yeah, like you're the brain. brain. I feel like every day is more like, oh, what are you, you going to do today? You know? And you tell me. Right. Exactly. But I take it a little bit more easy. And um, I got a little bit more of a sunny disposition. You take it a little bit more seriously. But mm -hmm. it has to be like that. Somebody got to play that part. Yeah, I mean, My otherwise job. stuff will not get done. Everything can't be fun and and giggles and and sunshine all the time, and that's what I'm into, you know. So sometimes it has. Oh, you to heard, be you good. heard it here, huh? You heard it here. She she's the bubbles and smiles and yeah, rainbows. I'm, I'm, of the, I'm the icing on the cake, on the sprinkles. I make it look nice. I'm trying to get cake. So we just giving y'all introduction to the dynamic duo. You feel me? Um, we like to think of ourselves as Pinky and the Brain. She Pinky, I'm the Brain, and you know what we here to do. I want to be the Brain. Take it over the motherfucking world. Yeah, it, you know this. So yeah, we just hey, my my light ain't right. You know what I mean? I'm looking like Doc Man over here, but it's all good. You see how her shit is like. That's our personalities on, on the undercover. <laughs> she, like, she like lights and sparkles and flares and shit. And just dark motherfucker over here. Let's get it done. Let's get the work done. You see what I'm saying? So that's how we got these backgrounds like that. My shit's black. But yeah, we are gonna get back to y'all and we are gonna talk a little bit more about these Roberts and the motherfucker Mr. Shades out here. You got to watch. You got to watch Mr. Shade, man. You know what I mean? Uh. Thank you for rocking with us. CC, thank you for, you know what I'm saying, having a match in my drive, you know what I mean? And we're going to go ahead and take over the world one of these days. Yeah, thank you. you. Know. All right, give, give you closing, you know what I'm saying? Give them some closing remarks, you know what I'm saying, or some closing comments before we get up out of here. They don't get to talk to you a lot, you know what I mean? Uh, Everybody should go check out the new uh, albums that are on Spotify because – CC's Charms, that would be me. I definitely have a, a instrumental album out with with over yeah, yeah, thirty thousand yeah. plays on it in the last week, which doesn't matter yeah, yeah. Yeah, to James Mac Three, who has about three hundred monthly listeners right now and has been uh, getting about uh, getting money fifty thousand plays in the last three days. So you know, getting money. So check that out. Uh, already, yeah, man. Hey, CC Charles, JM3 TV, man. Y'all keep a lookout, man. 
Stay safe. Love your peoples. Love yourself. We out this bitch.